Lynn and I have traveled in the pickup by itself to the very tip, T-I-P, of Prince Edward Island. You can't go any further. The road ends actually right here. And this building, we're going over there and interview it, but there is a cul-de-sac here. And that is the end. I'm going to show you a reversed picture. Uh, looking out from the sea into the land. This is where we are, actually. You can see the lighthouse in the picture there. That's the same lighthouse I just took a picture of and showed you. That parking lot you see down there, our truck is actually there, but not really. This is as far in Prince Edward Island as you can go. There's a big windmill farm here, as you can see. There's the lighthouse, a little closer shot of it. I believe it's a functioning lighthouse. This lighthouse is in operation. Here's the information about it. It was actually moved inland from its real location because of coastal, coastal erosion. It operates with electric now and does not have a lighthouse keeper. This is the beginning of a reef. You can walk out to it now. But when the tide goes out, evidently it is a kilometer long and you can actually walk it. Supposedly, we just got here, supposedly there's a big seal population up here. That would be exciting to see. Lynn and I have gone down uh, to the extreme very point. It's a big rock, flat rock outcropping. Swing around that lead person in those trees, Lynn. We got a family over here. I think they're kind of cool. They're uh, collecting uh, snails. They're just every place here. The tide is evidently out and is going to be coming in in about a half hour. Okay. This is Lynn walking to the reef through the water. Many waves. As Lynn said, it's uh, fate that we got here today at low tide. We're, low tide is supposed to be at 4 o'clock and we're at 3.35. So this is going to be, it's not going to be much lower. Evidently she can see all the way out. I've rolled up my pants and I'm going to follow her in a, a minute or two sure she gets there safely and doesn't fall in. And she made it. Okay, Russ is walking across the water to come walk on the sandbar with me. He's going to have really wet feet on the drive back.
There are seals right there. Sticking their heads out of the water. One coming this way. My camera's telephoto is out as far as it'll go. I'll bring it over. Maybe he's there's two over there coming our way. I think that seal may be coming towards us. One there. And there's one right there just got his head under the surface coming back up. There's the guy that may be coming towards us. He's not very far away. Well, he's out in the ocean, but he's really not very far away from us. There's another one popped up. I can see at least four from where I'm standing. They don't like us. <laughs> I'm guessing. They're watching. There's a little seal right there. You can see him. He was trying to come up on the water or on the rocks. There's about five of us standing here and he probably said, oh crap, I don't want to go over there with those humans. But so they're, they're watching us. There he is. The real deal and I can see many from here, this where I'm standing. Where I'm standing, and I'm going to move actually more to the end, but this is the end of Prince Edward Island. This is far towards Greenland as you can get. I'm sitting on a rock here. I figured if I sat here and acted uh, quiet and stealthy, he'd come in. And there he comes. hard with a camera to get any kind of perspective with all the water. There he is. Assume if I wait here for a few moments, he'll come ashore. Um, hopefully he will. Kind of cool if he climbed up on that rock.
one of his buddies is moving towards him. He's still out about 50, 60 feet, but he's headed this way. You can see him coming in. See, old buddy has moved over to my left. I think he's going to come in. If I don't, if I don't make too much commotion, just sit here. Now, isn't that the razzmatazz? He knew I wasn't really a rock but he wasn't too worried. Just being prudent. on the camera, I was counting the ones I see. I believe we're talking about at least 20. They're out there just uh, got their noses and they're up to about their chin sticking out of the water watching us. He's more adventurous. He wasn't worried at all, pretty much. He said, um, I've had it with you, human. We've got one of the little guy's uh, buddies coming in. There will be two in my camera view very shortly. The guy that's coming in is big. The guy that I had the real good pictures of, I'm sure, is a this year's seal, or looked like it to me. One coming in looks like an adult.
Lynn and I are sitting on a rock here at the end of the world, watching the seals. Not a bad way to end our wonderful journey in Prince Edward Island. Every year, Lynn and I have plovers. Not this one, but the same species. Living in our barnyard. There's just a pile of them right here in a little group. Two, three, there was probably eight or ten of them. Need to look carefully. It's a human treat, I'm sure, to mark where you've been. There are simply hundreds of these <laughs> markers stacked up here because the rocks are lovely. And it's important because truly it is the end of this world. This is the interpretive center or welcome center for the North Cape. North Cape means it is the northernmost or 
outermost piece of ground on Prince Edward Island. It's just a lovely place. We have spent uh, a couple hours here. Uh, we came here specifically just to be at the end of the world. Lynn and I are going to call it quits today. We've had a fantastic day, actually. When you end your day walking out in the ocean to the end of the, truly the end of the world, seeing snail or uh, seals. seals and snails. We saw just a pile <laughs> of those. People were harvesting them. Uh, if you would, please uh, subscribe to our channel. Be safe out there. And I hope you truly are as lucky as Lynn and I are.